For the past 10 years, the city has been encouraging more people to get around Boston on bicycles. That means taking steps to improve safety, but also trying to make bicycling more accessible and even more appealing. The city's program, Boston Bikes, holds events on a regular basis, but even more events will take place starting next week in the run-up to National Bike to Work Day on Friday, May 19th. To bring us up to date is our guest from the Boston Transportation Department, the Active Transportation Director, Stephanie Seskin. Uh, thank you very much for being with us, yeah, Stephanie. Thanks for having me. First of all, talk about, um, I know there were some concerns that were recently raised because of the accident in the, because of the crash in the back bay. Um, what about steps to improve safety in the city, either what's happened lately or what's going to be happening soon? Sure. So one of the major changes that has happened in this last year is we have lowered the default speed limit in Boston to 25. And we know we have a ways to go to make sure everyone knows that that has changed and that they should be changing their behaviors. But that has been a huge win for the city um, and something that we've been pushing for for a while. In addition, we are you know, continuing ahead with planning and um, installation of new bike facilities across the city. I know everyone has heard about the ComAv project that's underway now in Connect Historic Boston. On Saturday, we're breaking ground on the Audubon Circle project, um, which will include some uh, better bike facilities. And we have a number of others on deck coming up soon, too. And I, I, of course, I know in recent years the city has looked at uh, problem areas on Commonwealth Ave, Beacon Street, and Mass Ave. I think Mass Ave now has some new uh, It protections. does, that's yeah. true. Our Vision Zero initiative on Mass Ave introduced protected bike facilities um, in the southbound direction through um, the Back Bay area. Well, looking at the city's new figures, uh, things uh, last year got worse for pedestrians, but actually they got better for, for bicyclists. And, and the, the injuries and crashes are down? And yeah, it's actually a good trend for bikes. Um, some of that has to do with the fact that we've been installing a lot of bike lanes, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that there are a lot of more people riding bikes, and so more people are aware and um, you know, know how to behave around bikes in a in better way now than they did back then. So um, there was a study that was actually done um, through the Harvard School of Public Health that took a, a real statistical look at it and found that, yeah, it is much safer to bike in Boston today than it was 10 years ago. Well, one thing that the city is continuing is its partnership in the events in May to promote bicycling. So yeah. talk about what's going to be coming up pretty soon. Sure. Well, so uh, Bay State Bike Week kicks off on Monday, or actually I think it kicks off this weekend. Um, Got to get the full seven days in for the week. And then we're hosting our, our National Bike to Work Day Festival on Friday, May 19th um, at City Hall Plaza in the morning. We have a number of con Convoys coming in from all reaches of the Boston area. Um, so if you are new to biking or just want to make some new friends, you can join a convoy and come on down, get a free t-shirt, get some baked goods, um, get some free coffee, uh, and check out what else is going on with bicycling in the city. Explain a little bit uh, of, of what happens in, in a con. I imagine a lot, a lot of people sort of boldly going down some street <laughs> where, where a lot of people are too timid to ride a bike. Um, some, in some cases, uh, but in a lot of times, you know, there's a convoy that's coming up through um, Jamaica Plain, Mission Hill, taking the Southwest Corridor. Um, others are taking other types of bike lanes or paths coming in. Um, it's more of an opportunity to, you know, find a community and meet new people. Um, but certainly I've ridden with people who had never ridden to downtown before and were a little nervous, but felt much better coming in with a group um, as their first time. And because I know we usually talk about bicycling as a great way to, to go someplace on a regular basis, go to work and go to school. But I guess for, for younger people especially, it's, this is a great way to network and get out and have some fun too. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's all ages like to get out and have fun. Um, it's a great opportunity for everyone. And we do offer um, women's classes for adult women to learn how to ride bikes or to get comfortable riding on streets if they haven't already. And we have um, actually, our first one is this Saturday as well um, at, in Roxbury, um, teaching women how to ride a bike and then taking them out on a bike ride on streets. Um, and we will have one a month through September when we're actually going to have two. Any advice for, for, for women? Because, I, I mean, uh, I guess it goes for all of us because, I mean, there are a lot of things men are going to be shy of doing too. But, you know, there are some parts of the city, you still have heavy traffic and uh, uh, it can get a little, uh, you know, uh, hairy sometimes. So, I mean, I mean, what, what would you say to people who are on the edge about this? Well, I think as long as you are aware of what's going on around you, you can navigate wherever you need to be. Um, if you're new, definitely, you know, try out some different kinds of routes. Um, maybe take a more scenic route instead of taking that main street. Um, the local streets in Boston are often very nice, lovely homes, nice big trees. 
Um, and so those are good routes to take a little bit longer, but um, is a good opportunity. And I mean, the number one thing really is to just get out and try it um, and just go for it. And another piece of good news for people if they haven't noticed is that there's so many more places now for, for bike sharing, so you can pick it up in one part of the city and, and take it wherever you want to go. It's true. Our uh, bike share system called Hubway um, is a fantastic way for people to get around. Uh, it is currently on sale for bike month, um, $20 off. It's normally $99 for the full year. Um, and you get unlimited trips of 30 minutes or less. So perfect for those one-way trips. Um, I take it often um, to work if it's going to rain later in the day. Um, you never have to worry about bike parking, maintenance. We take care of all of that for you behind the scenes. Um, and we have expanded our system about 35 stations in the last two years. And stay tuned for another announcement about expansion um, coming soon. We should also mention a lot of these locations are very transit oriented too. So if you want to link those two different ways of getting around, yes, it works. Yes, definitely. Finally, if people want some more information, you've got a Boston Bikes website they can check out. Yeah, boston.gov slash bikes. Right. All the info you need. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Stephanie Seskin from the Boston Transportation Department. In a moment, we'll hear about a new community art center in Chinatown.